Happy Friday, everybody. It is Sharon Wilson, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia. I hope you're going well. It is Friday, the 23rd of June, almost at the end of June, almost halfway through the year. Um, and it is um, only seven more days for the two promotions that Stampin' Up! have going on right now. Uh, the Join Special, the... Um, where you get $283 worth of product uh, and only spend $169. Uh, so it's lots and lots of savings uh, for your uh, starter kit and it's a choose your own adventure starter kit. You could choose whatever you'd like to add into that kit up to the value of $283. Uh, so it's a fabulous time to join Stampin' Up! and join my team, the Procrastinators. Um, the other promotion that's happening right now is the Designer Series Paper uh, 15 percent off sale so select uh, designer series papers are 15 percent off right now just till the end of june so only seven more days until uh, it is gone so then i'll revert back to the original price of the 21.75 i think yes um so yes they've they're discounted at the moment uh the designer series papers so there's only select ones um so it's not the whole range but there is a lot of design series papers that are on special right now uh, so there's a lot of them that are $18.48 so it's um, yeah it's a great time to be shopping for your patterned paper and because of that and it's the last no second last Friday second last Friday of the month um, I wanted to share with you the design series paper uh, that I've sort of had a bit of play with last weekend at my team retreat um, and I was sort of a bit at a loss as to know what to do with this paper. But um, since playing with it last weekend, I sort of, yeah, I think I've enjoyed playing with it and, um, yeah, have liked what I've been able to create with it. So let me show you um, the paper that, um, or the what we're going to be working with today. So here we go. If, you, if you're watching, make sure you say hi say hello let me know you're here uh, so this is the suite that we're going to be working with today so it's the fresh as a daisy suite collection um, it, it, it consists of the stamp set the cheerful daisy stamp set and dies and um, you can buy them as a bundle uh, and or you can buy them individually so it depends if you like the dies or not uh, it, you've got the um, adhesive backed solid gems um, with three colors morning Bon how are you and also the designer series paper morning Gail good to ha have you both watching today um, and so we're going to play with this designer series paper oh can't, you can't see it very well but I'll show you the full um, the design the paper that we're doing um, actually yeah I had a really nice bit of a play with this on the weekend so I actually I loved what playing with it and I'll show you some of the things I made and I'll recreate some more so these are the papers um, as you can see I've already used part of this sheet <laughs> um, so you've got it's double-sided obviously and so the patterns go really well together generally when you flip them over so you've got the daisies on the other side you've got blue so again, they go really, they actually go quite well, I think. And then you've got some other daisies. That's a full sheet. So you can make that into a lovely scrapbook page. And there's the copper. So when you sort of look at this paper original, like when I first looked at it, I went, eh, nah, nah. But then I sort of, I wanted to have a bit more of a play on the weekend so I got it out and I made myself use it this is the one that I actually started with I um I chopped down all of these pieces and created some cards with these so where are they there you go. so I created this one using this piece so just hand cut them all or yeah actually I did hand cut them all because it was a bit too hard to use the trimmer I probably could have used the trimmer straight across there but um, yeah, I really like that one. It's fairly, fairly simple. It's just letting the des designer series paper do all the work for me. And the other one I did was this one. So using this piece, just creating just a very simple card 
only the sentiment was the only stamped image that I used. Um, and so, and this this color color is wild wheat. So this, I don't think this color gets a lot of love, um, but I did actually I used a fair bit of it over the weekend. And so I yeah, that's quite nice. So on the other side of this one is a, the moody mauve color. So I'll put them aside and I'll show you. I'll get out some of the cards that we're going to do. Uh, this is the stamp set. I've already mounted a lot of the stamps already. Um, so I'm going to be using a few few stamps, uh, mostly sentiments, but I'll use some of the other stamps as well uh, to create with. So I've done a bit of prep work, see? <laughs> it's not often I do that, is it? <laughs> so we'll do some stamping first up. So I'll pull out some of my inks. And so I'm going to use card base, just a basic white card base, just the thick basic white and some garden green and some white. And I've got the Moody Mauve and I've actually pulled out Bubble Bath. Um, I think I was going to use that. Oh, no. Actually, no, I'm going to do, I'll do, um, I'll stamp off. And that one, and I just realized I left my garden green behind. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. I've got my garden green, the moody mauve, and the wild wheat. So I want to do, oh, get some ink on me. We'll do some moody mauve. So I want to do full strength for the outline. And I think I'm just going to change it up a bit and pull out the two smaller stamps as well. So I was just going to recreate the same card that I made on the weekend, but I'm going to change it up a bit. So the outline for this one as well. do another one and so then I want to stamp off and I want to line this up stamp off and line that up and then the large one Bit, I think for this stamp is just lining it up making sure it's lined correctly and I'm stamping a fair way away from me at the moment so it <laughs> gets a bit tricky here. Alright so Moody Mauve we'll put away for the moment. We've got the um, bit in the centre for each of them. So that's just wild wheat. And then the garden green will use the stem and the leaf. That's probably the wrong angle. <laughs> Definitely the wrong angle, that's okay. It's got on the stem. Ooh. It's actually got the little bit where the leaf can come from. So 
Well, that's out of in the, in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think I'll do wild wheat for the sentiment. going to pull out the wild wheat ribbon and pull out this is the um, where is it wavy trim so just pulling out this wavy trim which is really quite pretty and I just want to pull out some of the threads around and I just want to put a bit of trim right in there before I tie it just adds a little bit of extra texture onto the card. I always like using more than one trim. It's it just gives that bit of added interest in your card. And I just love it. Stampin' Seal. I am meant to be getting a delivery today, so that may come during my live as well. little card and then this is the one I did on the weekend so I just thought I'd add a couple of extra daisies to it um, and just a bit of a change so yeah I like them they're quite cute so that's the one today the next one um, I was thinking about using the mauve so I haven't chopped it down yet so I'm still sort of figuring out what I wanted to do with this so um, with a lot of the cards on the weekend I did sort of like the the cut and flip um, idea so maybe I should move on to a different one first before I start that one to give you an idea of what I what I've done so this is one of the ones I did last on the weekend so let's do redo this one and so I want a fair bit of the teal the um, pe pretty peacock is what I really want and I also would like to keep this flower so I need to chop it sort of above the flower so the flower is still in view so let's chop it there because you need I want to bring out as much of the pretty peacock as I can. So, um, which way around do I want it? Yeah, 
think I'll, oh, I'll do this one first. So this is just showing, showing the um, pattern paper. So this is um, letting the paper do its work. Again, if we bring in the ribbon, <gasps> morning, Elizabeth. <laughs> hello, popping in to say hello. Hello. I'm recreating the cards that I made on the weekend, Elizabeth. <laughs> Showing off this gorgeous paper. And just use the trim again. So using the ribbon, using the trim. I tried it with a few different colors of trim, but um, I definitely liked the na natural look of this. <laughs> so this is the card I just made. So I, I made that one on the weekend, so I've just made that one this morning. Pretty cute. And just trim off the excess. And so with this one, so what I've also cut out is some of the dies. So the dies in this set um, is mostly daisies. Let me pull them out. Uh, but there is this frame. And so I've actually just cut out a couple of the frames to use this morning. So I've got a few frames to use. And I'll just use the wild wheat and work out what one I want to stamp on there. Oh, I think that will fit. I'm sorry if I got my head, I do have my head in the way, oops. Just trust myself. There we go. And I want some dimensionals. Oh, did I forget my dimensionals? Ah, there's a packet. Excellent. Just a couple of dimensionals on this. I think my head popped in for a second. <laughs> All right. Very stick. I got taught a really neat little trick on the weekend that if you stick something, if you stick down using um, stamp and seal and you stick it down incorrectly, apparently, if you actually huff on it, if you heat, it's, I think it's basically a matter of heating up the, the glue, but if you huff on it, it actually lifts up the card. Elizabeth taught me that. That was very clever. So, there you go. So that's that card. So very simple, very simple. Let the paper do its work. That's what I say. Um, what's the next one? Not that one. Let's go with this one. Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, so this is the next one that I did. Again, similar idea. But let's 
let's chop this one down. So this one is my sky. So we're just gluing this down as our sky above all the daisies. this one down and we'll pull our trim in our ribbon and trim I'm doing is I'm just pulling two strands out. Let's put it down onto the garden green cardstock. So these measurements are fairly simple. I've just um, made them half a, centi half a centimetre shorter each time when I cut my cardstock. So um, the card base is 21 centimetres by 14.85. And then you fold it in half. So it's a 10 and a half by 14.85. And then I chopped down the white to be 10 centimetres by 14.3 and then cut down the designer series paper to be 9.5 by 13.8 centimetres. And if I grab out my little sentiment pieces again. And I want to do that in the boho blue this time. And I'm just going to say an oopsie daisy, so sorry. Mainly because I forgot to bring over my stamp cleaner. Oh, I do have, no, I do have my stamp cleaner. <laughs> but I'm going to do an oopsie daisy anyway. <laughs> I put my dimensionals down, didn't I? There they are, underneath my paper trimmer. And just my little sentiment there. So simple yet effective. I just like the fact that you've got the sky up the top within the garden underneath. I think that's pretty, pretty cute. And so there's the one that I did the other day. And so this one's over there. Let's work on this one. So this one I wanted to do a bit different. So I'm actually going to just glue this one down. 
And so this is the wild wheat cardstock. And I actually want to just put that straight in the centre. Or centre-ish. Centre-ish. <laughs> oh, that sounds like it's my delivery. There's a van out the front. Oh, actually, I think I might pull out my Moody, Moody Move for this one. Yes, I think so. Yep, absolutely. And my trim. So you can make quite a lot of cards with this paper if you just do very simple stuff. Oops. I don't think I don't think a knot's going to work. A, a bow's going to work. I cut it too short, didn't I? That's all right. And then if I get my little sentiment piece and I'll go back to the birthday one. Just do a quick clean. Not for me. No parcel for me. Alright, so get the moody move out. And we'll go the birthday. But how beautiful is, is this paper? Have I sold you on it yet? <laughs> it's really pretty. Sometimes half the battle is trying to work out what you want to do with it. Hi, welcome. Thank you. I just, I just love how the paper just does all the work for me. I don't, I have to do pretty much nothing except for put it together. That's just pretty. I do like this paper. This paper is really gorgeous. And I think it goes quite well with the, with the wild wheat as well. So it's pretty. All right. I've only got a couple more to go. So this one is that full sheet that had the just the daisies on it so this one I just wanted to do an even simpler card if that's possible I'm sure it is and pull out where's my I think I'll do the copper oh the phone's ringing now <laughs> They will call back or leave a message. I'm not going to do the trim this time. I think I'm just going to do the ribbon. Now, 
everything's happening this morning, isn't it? <laughs> Lots of disruption. <laughs> so these are the or these are the ink colours I'm working with at the moment. So you've got the copper clay. This is the copper clay. You've got the wild wheat. You got the moody mauve. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got the boho blue. That's the boho blue. And I didn't bring over the pebbled path, which is one of my favourite colours for the ink colours. I didn't bring over the pebbled path, but I'm not working with pebbled path today for a change. I think most weeks I've actually worked with pebbled path because <laughs> I love the colour so much. How effective is that? I think that's that's pretty that's pretty stunning as well. Now for a sentiment, I don't know about a sentiment for that one. I might just leave that one with no stamping at the moment. I might change my mind, but I'm feeling like I don't want to change it at the moment. Let's set that aside. <laughs> and we'll come to this last one. This is the last one for today. So we've got the daisies. Oh, there's some pebbled path. Oh, this one's not going to work as well, I don't think. I think I need pebbled path on the other side. Oops, okay. I, I lied. Out it comes. <laughs> Actually, maybe white. Maybe white might be better. Actually, I'm thinking white's going to be a bit better. Yep. Yeah, let's go with white. Do I have my pebbled path? I don't know. <laughs> let's go back to the flipping one where we're flipping the cardstock over. Let's just chop there. I, it's only all by eye what I do. Um, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really think too much about it. I think yes. I think yes, that's the way I'll do it. And then the daisies facing up. So this paper is 15% off right now until the end of the month, till the end of June. So only seven more days. Can you believe? Oops, sorry, microphone. Uh, only seven more days before the end of the month. Yep. So this is the bit that is in the center of the trim. Don't know if I can use that. I don't think I can of like knotted so I think I'll leave that one and this one I'm just going to leave as one full piece I don't like that one as much. I think I have to fold it over. Just looks weird just being one strip right there. So <laughs> I think that sort of adds a bit more, I think. <laughs> one down. Still thinking about my daisy, my blue daisy card. I'm trying to work out what I want to do with that one. I've got another sentiment 
piece. And I'm going to grab out the garden green. And I don't think you'd ever have too many birthday cards, really, can you? go all right so copper clay I'm wondering if I just do something right there um. hmm um let's see nope. I've got a piece of scrap paper here we go <laughs> let's see here we go see what it looks like in copper clay and then boho Boho or copper? Which do you think? Which do you think? <laughs> I think I might go the copper. Yes. <laughs> you concur. Excellent. Not that one. Copper. All right. So I might just trim it down so it's just a bit smaller. Feels a bit crooked actually. That's because it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I did. I like the copper. You're right. Copper is better. There we go. Lovely. Move some of my inks out of the way. I might move that out of the way. So they are my cards for today. You go six cards. That's not too bad for this for a morning's work. Six cards, pretty quick. 
the paper does the work for me, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Yay. Thank you so much. I hope you like my cards. I hope you love the paper as much as me. I, as I said previously, I wasn't really a fan of this paper to start with, but um, having played with it on the weekend, yeah, it sort of it really grew on me pretty quickly. So it was, it was lovely to be able to have a play and create. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've uh, been inspired to get into your craft room and get some crafting done. Um, don't forget the crafts the um, design series paper sale is on only until the 30th of June so only seven more days and then back to retail price again um, obviously select number of design series papers also the um, join promotion is on now so if you purchase that starter kit you get uh, you spend $169 and you get $283 worth of product uh, in that kit for that $169. So it is a fabulous time to join. Any time is a fabulous time to join Stamp It Up um, as, and purchase that starter kit. But June is an even better time because you get more money, more, more bang for your buck, more product for your buck. Uh, so it is a fabulous time. And um, yeah, you can join my team, the Procrastinators. Uh, if you go to stampingwithsharon.com.au and you can click join now, um, I would love to welcome you into my team. And you could join me on all, all the different um, team events that I do. I have a team meeting once a month on the first Thursday of the month via Zoom so anyone in the country can join uh, and I we just came back from our weekend retreat. Um, we I did a weekend team weekend retreat so we had some fun it was very it was it was it was small in number um, but yes it was lovely it was nice to sit and relax and not have the pressures of having to do a lot of crafting but crafting if you wanted to and just chatting when you wanted to so it was a really lovely weekend away so I would love to welcome you into my team so you can join us on those different activities and events and I've also got my um, retreat coming up in October the 26th to the 20. 27th to the 29th of October, sorry, 27th to the 29th of October. Um, if you're in Sydney or even if you're out of Sydney and you want to come and join us, uh, it's going to be out Penrith Way um, and it's going to be a, a full weekend of lots of crafting and laughing and catching up and listening to good music and lots of things, lots of presents and stuff. So if you'd like to join uh, my retreat, uh, check it out on my Facebook page, um, Stampin' with Sharon. Um, yeah, you can find all those details here. You should be able to find them on this page. Uh, but I would love to see you there too. Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the sunshine because it is actually sunshine now. It was raining this morning and last night, but it's all sunny outside today. So I hope you have a lovely day, lovely weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye.